We will be exploring some of the problems and solutions of what I call the slingshot effect. Some of the problems when facing such a thing, this is normally called the magnetic gate. There's a resistance that's found upon entering. It does not want to go freely through, or you may have it so you can go through the gate and fire, but on the other side, there's a resistance that wants to pull back. Sometimes it locks in the gate itself. I overcome these difficulties, a very simple method. I have four, five, six small rare earth magnets and a small bar of metal. This seems to smooth out and brings it into focus. I'll go slowly so you can see there's no input resistance. That's one of the things you're looking for for an efficient gate. You don't want any input resistance. And you can see how it fired through there. The other obstacle that I had to overcome was the pullback bringing it back into the gate. This one has a very small amount in there, I think, but not a lot. You can see it doesn't really pull back. I'll go slow. So you have a real clean firing here. There's that little bit, but it's not a lot. And you can kind of see how. Now on this side, there wasn't any any firing going this direction, only in the direction we want it. I'll bring that through a little bit slower so you can see after I go through the gate the opposite way you would think, oh it's going to fire that direction. If you point that out, you'll see that just a little bit. There we go. It's wanting to fire. But if I can get through the gate, there we go. There's nothing pushing it that direction, resisting it. So it's a very, very clean firing uh, situation there. Uh, some of the things I did, I have a plate here. I have a one inch hole in the center. This has to be exactly centered and per perpendicular. These are same facing magnets. What I'm doing effectively is making this whole plate one, one pole. You don't want this south coming around and getting into this area here. So basically it's looping through your south to north south to north it's being contained but i'm drawing this this other face out into here so this is effectively a, a one magnetic face here and that's what does the job and that's what the problem's been over for researchers uh, and inventors they just they just had it too close uh, the most notable would be the uh, uh, Howard Johnson. He had a successful uh, gate that worked, and I I really don't know how his worked, but it did. And uh, so anyhow, this works so fine. We don't have any 
input resistance and very, very little uh, pullback resistance. So there's our gate. We'll fire it one more time. I like working with these small rare earth magnets. They're easy to adjust everything. For every length of metal you have to balance it out with the right number of uh, magnets. So it's really easy to do it this way. So have that put in there again. I'll go slow. And it's very fast after it hits that trigger. There's that slingshot effect. Thank you for watching.